Welcome to Food Trends TV. I'm everyday innovator Dana McCauley, and today we're going to talk about the trend of grass-fed beef and products made from cows who have eaten grass. So you've seen this in the grocery store and on menus for the last couple of years, and some of you may know why grass-fed is trending up and some of you may not. So here's the deal. Basically, grass-fed uh, cows and steers uh, have a diet that is completely uh, consumed while they're on a pasture. That means they're walking around, they're expressing their natural behaviors, and they're eating grass instead of going to feeding troughs that contain grains such as corn. As it turns out, cows and uh, steers that eat grass have um, a higher omega-3 fatty acid content, they are lower in fat, and they have a conjugated linoleic acid, which is hard to say and a bit confusing to me, but basically it's a fat that is uh, linked to some studies that uh, show um, a reduced risk of heart disease. So I'm not a scientist, so you'll have to look that one up to get more information on it. Now, the downside of eating a grass-fed uh, uh, steak, in my opinion, is the flavor. It doesn't taste quite the same, and it doesn't have um, the same really buttery, nice texture of traditionally raised beef. So for me, where this trend nets out is whether or not you value health over taste or taste over health. Now, I think there might be a happy medium in between where we have happy free range cows eating uh, grass and uh, all the other wonderful pasture plants. And then uh, for the last couple of weeks, we allow them to also indulge in uh, a grain corn based diet. So tell me in the comments section below, have you bought any grass fed beef or dairy products? If so, what did you like about them? What didn't you like about them? And will you continue to buy them? Thanks a lot for tuning into Food Trends TV. Please subscribe so that we can continue the conversation in the coming weeks.